recovered something that I had lost. I have recovered the ark of covenant. I have recovered the presence of God. What is that saying to us? When God gives us back that fresh anointing that we once had, we ought to come in the house of God giving God praise. What does that say? That says that every time when we enter into God's house, we ought to come into God's house as though we have lost our mind in praise. We ought not to have to wait till anybody to chill us or wake us up or try to get us ready for praise. But the very fact that we think about what God has done for us, we give him the praise. And I don't know about you, but I know one thing about this. I want to tell people about what God is doing in my life. So the Bible, David says, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. He says, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. David here, after he has recovered this and he's come back into town, even though he has it, he has everything he has, the ark of the covenant and God has blessed him. He goes to his wife who he thought would be happy for God blessing him. Do you know that everybody's not glad when God blesses you? But his wife by the name of Michael said to David, you have certainly made a fool of yourself today dancing like that in public, dancing your clothes off. Oh yes, oh yes. He danced so until he danced out of his ephod. But the Bible says that David danced before the Lord with all of his might. And I do not believe, brothers and sisters, that David was cute when he danced. I do not believe that David was dainty with his dance. I do not believe that David had a, a kind of dance where you just cross your legs uh, and just shuffle your feet. Uh, but I believe David danced like he had lost his natural mind. Uh, oh yes, I believe that with all my heart. Boy, now listen at this. He was a man that was a warrior. He was a man that had killed, that had killed many lions and bears, and that even killed a nine foot giant. Uh, so do you think he was walking in hot? Do you think that he was walking and said, Hallelujah? No, he came in like a crazy wild man, jumping and leaping and screaming and giving God the praise. What am I trying to say? When you give God the praise, don't try to be cute with it. But honey, learn how to give him a praise with all of your might. Oh, yes, let me close here. So David came into the city. Praising God with all of his might. His wife told him, You made a fool out of yourself. But look like I can hear David. And I believe David testified to her and said, Woman, if you don't know my story, don't despise my praise. If you don't know what I've been through, don't despise my praise. If you don't know the heartaches I've been through, if you don't know how I had to cry in the midnight hour, if you don't know the tears that I shed, don't despise my praise. If you don't know the nights I stay up running from King Saul, don't despise my praise. If you don't know the caves I had to go in, do you know that many of David's writings were written while he was on the run from King Saul and from Absalom? were written while he was in a cave. So therefore you ought to tell God thank you. Every time you find yourself in a cave, every time you find yourself down and out, you say, God, I just want to thank you because it was in my cave that I got a word from you. It was in my pit that I got a word from you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I like the way Henry Crouch said it. He said, I thank God for the man He testifies to his wife. He 